Hello YouTube, D. Badri here. So this is a Surefire, I think it is. There used to be a, a silkscreen label right there that said what the flashlight manufacturer was, but anyway, a long time ago, back when I first started messing with XHP 70.2 LEDs, I replaced the, uh, the very, very blue Chinese LED uh, with a legit Cree XHP 70.2. It's not overdriven in any way. It's totally factory voltages, factory driver board, everything. Just a better LED which made the light much more yellow and also made it a lot brighter. And this runs off of uh, three 18650 cells which haven't been charged in at least a year. So anyway, keep that in mind. This is not even fully charged. Now this is a brand new light. I bought two of these on AliExpress and it says right there XHP 160. So there is 16 LED elements inside here versus approximately same size four elements in here. <laughs> yeah, not, not, it shouldn't be even a close comparison. All right, so this flashlight, this head part zooms in and out. So this is all the way in is you know bright wash over a large area, and all the way out is tight focus. So uh, when I turn this thing on, I'm going to have tight focus and at max power. And the same thing for this flashlight, which has no focus, this is going to be at max power. So let's turn this bad boy on first. You know, the new flashlight at the fence. Now I'm going to turn on my old flashlight that's running a legit Cree XHP 70.2 that is not overdriven. Yeah, you can see the camera on my fence quite nicely. The uh, 16 element light is what? Twice as bright, maybe 1.5 as bright, probably two times as bright. 16 elements versus four, and the four elements aren't even overdriven, which you can't do to this XHP160. So here it is 16 elements making basically twice as much light as a legit Cree XHP70.2. So yeah, it does make a good bit of light, but is it like, oh my god, that's impressive? No, <laughs> no, it's not. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I pretty much expected that things would come out about like this, you, you know, but still, it's four to one. Come on, this, this Chinese light should be four times brighter, and it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm still convinced Chinese LEDs are crap. Can't convince me otherwise, pretty sure. So, I have two of these things, and um, I'm going to take out the 160 out of it. Because the driver in it's going to be pretty strong to run 16 elements, right? And I'm going to replace that uh, that you know board in there that's got the uh, XHP160 in it with a single XHP70.2, and then I will take both of these flashlights side by side, and then I'll have an overdriven uh, 70.2 in one of these hosts, and then we'll see. But I'm going to say that the 70.2 is going to completely rock its world. In fact, right now I am building um, two LED lights with 70.2, which I will properly overdrive. And they have that same kind of yellow hue to them rather than this very blue light that you get out of the Chinese LEDs. And once that's done, I'll do another comparison of a properly overdriven XHP 70.2 versus this Chinese XHP 160. And I'm going to tell you... It's going to be every bit as bright as that is, and possibly more. Yeah, because this chest is not impressive. All right, well, I guess that's about it. Still not convinced the Chinese LEDs are worth a crap.